ओम भूर्भुव स्वह तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवशी धियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम शांति 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 नमस्ते दोस्तों नमस्कार डियर फ्रेंड्स सी यू माइट हैव एक्सपीरियंस्ड समटाइम यू मीट ए स्ट्रेंजर यू मे बी अट्रैक्टेड टुवर्ड्स हिम और हर you may find that the person the stranger is very pious very polite and of helping nature sometime you find the stranger is very obstinate very angry person indifferent to social attitudes very this and sometimes you find a person is simply arrogant no consideration of social values so these different qualities different moods difference in approach depends upon the nature of each and every person the nature of a person depends upon the triple gunas that is qualities of a person these gunas are known as sattva rajas and tamas or sattvik rajasik and tamasik those who are pure by their heart their behavior is very nice they are called persons of satvik nature arrogant and very selfish and just behind their name and fame are rajasik and the people who are just very filthy dirty and have no conception of any values of life they are called tamasic people so now i will explain different qualities of persons according to the bhagavad gita the gunas what we call the primary qualities or modes of nature are three in number sattva rajas and tamas they exist in all including humans in various degrees of concentration and combination they also exist in all objects and natural products hence even the food which we eat is important if we want to cultivate good behavior depending upon their relative strength and ratios the gunas determine the nature of things beings their actions behavior attitude and attachments and their involvement with the objective world in which they live the primary purpose of the gunas in the living beings is to create bondages through desire for sense objects which lead to various attachments with them and which in turn keep them bound to the world and under the perpetual control of prakriti see food 
and our qualities are reciprocal. A person of sattvic nature will always eat sattvic food, simple and sattvic food. So, a person eating sattvic food will have sattvic qualities. Same way, tamasic and rasic nature depends upon food also. In Hindi we call it jaisa an vaisa man. Your mind will be depending upon your food habits. If you eat pure and simple food, your nature will be sattvic. If you eat non-vegetarian food, your nature will be either rasic or tamasic. Drinking, meat eating and all these types of food will produce rasic and tamasic qualities in living organisms. The gunas are born from prakriti. The self does not reside in them, but they reside in him. Before creation, they remain inactive and in a state of perfect balance in the primordial nature, that is mula prakriti. When their balance is disturbed, creation sets in motion and the diversity of objects and beings come into existence, each possessing the triple gunas in different proportions. The admixture, that is panchikarna of the gunas and the elements, Mahabhutas, is well explained in the Pengala Upanishad. Mahabhutas means five elements we call as the earth, ether, water, fire. So, ex beings in the higher worlds contain the predominance of sattva, beings in the lower worlds, uh, Mahabhutas, fire, water, vayu, earth and ether. These are the five elements. Our body is made up of these five elements, what we call as Mahabhutas. These elements are not the elements what we study in chemistry. They are the substances of one type of matter. But here, the earth it consists of so many elements. So here in Hindu philosophy, these elements are different. Different in the sense, they are not elements like that we study in chemistry, like copper, gold, oxygen, hydrogen. So here there is a difference. So beings in the higher worlds contain the predominance of sattva. Beings in the lower worlds, the predominance of tamas, and those in the middle worlds contain the predominance of rajas. In humans, all the three gunas are present in different degrees of predominance according to their spiritual purity and progress. Sinners who are beyond redemption possess the predominance of tamis. Pious people who abide by dharma possess the predominance of sattva, while worldly people who are driven by selfish desire possess the predominance of raja. See, ra, ra, people having rajas qualities, they are very active. Politicians and all, they are of rajas nature. They want their fame, their name, they are after money, power and all. 
and people those who are just eating drinking and no other interest in life they are of tamasic type and people who are seekers of god those who are in spiritual field they are of satvik nature according to the bhagavad gita god is the real enjoyer he brings forth the entire creation for his joy for ananda it is purusha only who seated in prakriti enjoys the qualities produced by prakriti the gunas are responsible for the diversity of nature because of the gunas that is qualities only the divisions of reality and unreality arise when the gunas are manifested in creation the individual souls come under their influence and begin their onward journey into the world of matter and death god what we call iswara does not act under the influence of and the of these three because god is gunatit beyond the qualities beyond these guna so god is not affected by satvik rajasik or tamasik gunas because god is having only one qualities that is shuddha sattva which is not of this world among the gods brahma has the predominance of rajas vishnu the predominance of sattva and shiva the predominance of tamas however all the three gods are pure beings they are not bound to them or to nature for the purpose of creation and the order and regularity of the worlds they manifest the gunas to perform their obligatory duties while they themselves are transcendental transcendental means beyond these gunas these gunas are not concerned with them how our behavior is affected by these gunas the gunas are responsible for the behavior and natural vasanas of all living beings see vasanas we call propensities we call them or subtle impressions Hum- when we you know act or when we think repeatedly so these thoughts they take the form of vasanas especially desires if continuously you desire for something that desire takes the form of vasana human beings are also subject to their influence under their control people lose their ability to discern truths their essential nature or their true selves they fail to see their oneness with god and the rest of creation or the presence of god amid amidst them in the 14th chapter of the bhagavad gita lord krishna gives us a very detailed description and definition of the three gunas which is summarized below number 1 sattva is pure without impurities illuminating and free from sickness it binds the soul through attachment with happiness and knowledge second rajas is full of passion and is born out of trishna thrust or intense desire and sangha attachment it binds the soul through attachment with action third tamas is the darkness and the crudeness in man it is born out of ignorance and the cause of delusion it binds the soul through recklessness indolence and sleep in the beings the three gunas compete among themselves for supremacy and try to suppress each other sattva predominates by suppressing rajas and tamas 
rajas predominates by suppressing sattva and tamas the tamas by suppressing both sattva and rajas how to know which quality is predominant in a person at a particular time according to the bhagavad gita when sattva is predominant from all the gates of the human body radiate the illumination of knowledge when rajas is predominant greed worldliness striving for worldly ends and a penchant for selfish activities arise with the increase of tamas one can see the flourishing of darkness in activity recklessness and delusion upon death a sattvic person attains higher worlds when he returns he takes birth among pious people or in a pious family after death a rajasic person remains in the middle world when he is reborn he takes birth in the family of those who are attached to actions as for the tamasic person he sinks to lowest regions on dying and when reborn takes birth among the ignorant and the deluded the gunas also influence faith resolve professional choices and nature of relationships the division of human beings into the four categories is also due to the influence of gunas only the gu- govern every aspect of human life and the world in general in the 18th chapter we come across a detailed description of how men with these three qualities act and behave differently and engage themselves in different religious and spiritual activity see 18th chapter means that is chapter of bhagavad gita so how these gunas are resolved the purpose of such an elaborate description of these three qualities in the bhagavad gita is not to encourage us to become sattvic or eliminate other qualities whether it is sattva or rajas or tamas the gunas are part of prakriti and responsible for our ignorance delusion bondage and suffering on earth when they are active we remain bound to one thing or another we cannot be free until they are fully resolved therefore the bhagavad gita suggests that we should try to transcend them rather than cultivate them by knowing the nature of the three gunas and how they tend to keep us in bondage and illusion we should become wiser and strive to transcend them sattva is purity and beneficial however for those who strive for liberation even cultivation of sattva should be not an end in itself for sattva also binds us to the duality of pleasure and pain sattvic people want to enjoy pleasure and avoid pain they are pious and knowledgeable but prefer leading a life of luxury and comfort thereby they engage in desire ridden actions and become bound even though it is pure sattva is but an instrument of prakriti which is mean to serve its sense by keeping us bound to the worldly life under the sovereign control of its sovereign master hence one may cultivate purity that is sattva to suppress the other two but in the end must rise above all the three and become sta- stabilized in equanimity sameness and oneness of the self one should go beyond the three gunas to attain immortality and freedom from birth death old age and sorrow the person who transcends these gunas what 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 are his qualities so what are the qualities of the person who has transcended the three gunas that is he is known as gunatita how does he behave and how does he truly achieve it the bhagavad gita answer these questions also when a person overcomes the three gunas 
he neither likes nor dislikes purity, light, passion and delusion, which are the predominant modalities that arise from the gunas, namely sattva, rajas and tamas respectively. He does not detest them when they are present nor desires them when they are absent. He remains indifferent, undisturbed by the gunas, knowing that it is the gunas which are acting in all beings but not the self which is present in them. Therefore, he remains alike in pleasure and pain, stable and equal towards a lump of earth or gold, the pleasant and the unpleasant criticism or praise, honor or dishonor, and friend or foe. Since he rises above the gunas, he does not take sides in any dispute, show any favor or preference for the dualities of life, and renounces the ambition and the initiative to perform tasks. How in our practical life we apply these gunas? A good understanding of the gunas can help you make wise decisions and remain on the right side of life. For example, the Eightfold Path of Buddhism, the Ashtanga Yoga of Patanjali, the rules and restraints, restraints for novices and advanced practitioners in Jainism and Buddhism are meant to cultivate sattva or inner purity without which the mind cannot be stabilized in contemplation or in mindfulness. Cultivation of purity is at root of all spiritual traditions of ancient India. In today's world where Tamas and Rajas predominate, it is even more important. Apart from spirituality, knowledge of the Gunas is also helpful in worldly life. The following are the few examples where you may rise, may use the knowledge of safeguard yourself from potential problems. First, the profession you choose. Choose your profession carefully according to your nature and what you want to achieve in life. Certain profession can lead to your spiritual downfall. Marriage and friendship. It is important to consider the play of gunas in choosing your friends or marriage partner. You have to see in those relationships whether you want to balance or complement your own nature. Education and specialization. If you pursue your academic career according to your nature, you will not suffer from conflicts or stress and you will have better chances of succeeding in your professional career. Parenting. Parents have to help their children cultivate the predominance of sattva so that when they grow up they will not only have pleasant and positive personalities but also right discretions in making their choices. Then fifth is food and lifestyle choices. They must be conductive to the cultivation of sattva, since sattva improves the vigor and the brilliance of the mind and the body. In spiritual life, the knowledge of the triple gunas is imperative. A correct understanding of the three qualities of nature is essential to overcome your bondage to earthly life and attain liberation. By knowing the distinction among three gunas and by developing the quality or mode of sattva in abundance, a person can purify his mind and body and experience peace and equanimity. Through desireless action, selfless service, devotion, worship, self-study, sattvic knowledge, sattvic speech, right discernment, sattvic faith, behavior and sacrifice he can increase sattva and develop the divine qualities that is deva sampatti which are enumerated in the 16th chapter of the bhagavad gita to become a perfect yogi and earn the love of god by performing his obligatory duties without any desire and attachment 
offering the fruit of his actions to God, surrendering himself completely to him, fully devoted to him and absorbed in him, he surely achieves liberation and union with Supreme Self. See, our soul is not affected by these gunas, remember. Because Atma is gunati, it, it is transcendental. Atma is not affected, influenced by sattvic, tamsic or rasic qualities of a person. But in our daily actions, daily social behavioral aptitude, these gunas definitely have great influence because our ego and our mind are affected by these gunas. Atma is simple witness. It has no concern with any type of quality. So, so this is all about qualities of persons. See, why I have emphasized and to tell you about this quality? Because to be in the field of spiritual life, we must have sattvic nature. And to cultivate sattvic nature, we must take simple and pure food. Avoid drinking, avoid taking non-vegetarian food, avoid taking drugs and all. So these are enemy of spirituality. So thank you friends. Please comment, share and subscribe my channel so that this message reaches many people many people this is a service for the mankind we must indulge in spreading the message of upnist and vedas thank you namaskar om shanti 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 hi